Thanks, my friend. With some retail stores, businesses and restaurants set to reopen tomorrow, the city of Tyler discussed how it would work in their press conference today. CBS 19's Peyton Weidman has all the details. Peyton, there was a guide that was created to help businesses, right? Hey, Aaron, that's right. The city of Tyler created an occupancy load guide, which tells different types of businesses the number of people allowed inside based on square feet. Our guide is less about establishing the exact occupant load but more focus on assisting the individual business owners in complying with the governor's order. The city of Tyler's occupancy load guide shows businesses how they can figure out the number of people allowed inside. Business owners should focus primarily on the areas of their businesses that are accessible to the public and customers. We would not advise anyone to concern themselves with kitchens, storage rooms, restrooms, stock rooms, etc. The city set the following distancing guidelines for different businesses. Restaurant dining rooms must have 60 square feet between people. Businesses like doctor's offices, 400 feet. And for retail stores, 240 feet should be maintained in between. For restaurants, owners can divide the square footage of the dining area by 60 to determine the maximum allowable number of occupants in the public areas. If the square footage of the dining area is 4,800 square feet, their current accepted occupancy would be 80 customers. Tyler City Council member and president of the East Texas Restaurant Association, Bob Westbrook, says member restaurants will display a sticker outlining a promise to visitors. Our promise to you is to ensure everyone's safety as we welcome you back into our dining rooms. As some restaurants are choosing not to reopen, Westbrook encourages people to reach out to a restaurant to double check. If they are, please ask to make a reservation. The governor's order for restaurants to open at 25% occupancy could delay your attempt to dine. Now tomorrow, we'll begin opening up Texas. We ask for your patience and understanding. Essential businesses do not have to follow the up to 25% occupancy guidelines. They do need to, however, follow regulations already set in place. We've got you covered, East Texas. Peyton Weidman, CBS 19.